Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of Seventh Time Loop. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Something what? No. Ooh, looking good. Oh, a rose. No. Damn, she been killing just as much as anybody, as everybody else has. Well, goodness. <laughs> and of course, he's trying to find her. Be ready. Hey, he hot though. I mean, damn. How you doing? <laughs> it's really pretty. Do not make the first move. No, that's stupid. Oh my god. I like it. Mm, of course, got him. Damn. And you remember that. Okay, good. I like that. <laughs> well, I mean, she's not surprised this time. She's had to live through this, like, how many times?
We're, we're going to see everything. Pretty dress though. Mm -hmm. Of course he has plans. Is he hot? Mm. <laughs> Deja, oh my god. Horny thoughts, stop. You're free to do whatever you want now. You can be anyone now. I feel like so happy. No, no. Mm. But you were happy at a time. I would literally hate to have to relive this moment over and over again, bruh. Not really, asshole. Just 
through. Let's see, hold on. What if they're not there this time? Yep. That's because you went home. Oh, you want to be a doctor this time? And it seems like every we're going to see her either cut her hair or leave her hair long because now she, her hair is cut. But. But eventually, mm-hmm. And now you're in your seventh. Well, we hope. I'm gonna do the side entrance this time. Oh! <gasps> Thank you. He hot though. We've heard of you. Yeah.
Uh oh. <laughs> Please don't hurt yourself. <gasps> That's smart, though. Oh my god, you are so full of it. Right. I, I really don't think anybody would be sad if they had to break off their engagement to him because like, <sighs> big old ick. Right? Thank you! Oh my god, bitch, shut up. That means she's an independent bad bitch and fuck you. Oh my god, Marie, please shut up. You can change it and heartbeat.
Back up. Girl, I mean, goddamn, his voice, like. <sighs> Shut up. Well, maybe if you get with him, it might be different. Sir, what the fuck I have? Because, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, it, it was the jump. Her just seeing like, fuck it, you know, I'm going to make a good ass entrance for this guy. And he's just like, boom. I need her. Like, oh, okay. But, okay. The fact is, for her first six lives that we got to initially see those, which was really nice. But we know she, no matter what, she continuously dies at the hands of... Prince Arnold doing it with his war and such. And then finally, in her last life before this one, she dies at his hands. So maybe, like I said, to prevent that, she has to get with him. But then it makes the most sense on being like, okay, during her seventh life, it's like this. You've been avoiding it six freaking times. So on your seventh, you can't avoid this anymore. You gotta be with him. And you got to figure this sexy ass man out. I mean, because like, ooh, he, you know what? Let, let me see who he's voiced by because I need to know. Like, he's really pretty. Like, oh. I've seen that name before. Oh, he's in Hokkaido. He's in Hokkaido, gals. Oh, I know who this is. <laughs> I know exactly who this is. Oh my God. Sir, are you kidding me? How in the world do you go from my baby boy to a character that I, no, two of my baby boys to a character that I absolutely despise, who had one of the worst deaths that should have been even more satisfying, to playing a cute, precious boy who was slowly but surely falling in love with a Gadu, and now this character. Oh my god. Starting from free all the way to this? Oh my god. I like that commitment like oof like hey because he sounds not he you i mean like if i go back and i rewatch the episode maybe like i kind of probably hear a little bit of mateo here and there but especially for his character and the hokkaido gals thing that did not sound like him that is nuts once again the power of sayers like oh my god I, I fucking cannot but no she is really pretty as well um i wonder who she's voiced by Oh, okay, it's Lene. Okay, okay. I'm here for it. All right. Get your coin, girl. Get your coin. But yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, is this going to be a good thing that she's with him now? Is this going to prevent her death? Like, 
we won't really know until we get more into this. But it, yeah, there's something else about her that he really, you know, liked. Because dead eyes, not only with the sword play and such, but yeah, yeah. Hopefully we get some backstory on this. And I mean, the, the, the tension is there. Like, the chemistry is there. The sexual tension is there as well. So I'm here for it. Mondays are going to be awesome. Well, not, not some Mondays. Sundays are going to be awesome. Even though I wanted this to come out on Sunday, due to the situation that happened on Sunday at work, wasn't the greatest, I'll tell you that. It was not good. And so it really got me hugely upset. But yeah, I'm not really going to talk about it anymore because like we're over and done with it. It's almost been a week and I don't feel like dealing with bullshit people. But you know, maybe one day if I really feel like it. But no, no, no. This was really freaking good. Like, dead ass. I was not expecting this to go that way and such. I, I mean, trailer wise, like when I saw it a couple of months ago, I was like, oh, damn, like this looks nice. But oh my God. Damn. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode one of Seventh Time Loop. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.